Hey, what's going on? Muriel from the Sunshine Family uh, with a video about the Arenal Volcano area and the town Arenal. I'm actually sitting right in front of the volcano of Arenal, but obviously it's invisible. It's in the clouds. Uh, the day that we arrived here, it looked like this. So, and this is just the case with volcanoes, you know, the clouds could get around it and they the volcano can look differently every single day. Sometimes you don't even see it. Uh, what will I be sharing in this video? Well, my best tips about what to do in Arenal and the, the stuff that I like best and the stuff that I don't like. So uh, yeah, keep watching my video. Uh, I'm here on my channel as usual, uh, if you know me a little bit. To about sharing everything I've learned myself. I am a Costa Rica expat. I live for almost, no, for five years now. Yay! Celebration in Costa Rica. I'm very, very happy. I moved here with my family, two kids, 2018. And this channel has been the creation thanks to all the people who started to ask me questions about my move to Costa Rica. So I'm a happy, Costa Rica expat sharing basically her experiences. So I'm not Costa Rica expat guru. I don't know everything. I'm not an expert. I'm just an experienced um, Costa Rica expat based on my years here. I don't know everything, but I do know what I've learned so far. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, you can hit that little icon on the screen, tap the bell to get notified when I go live, when I create a new video and uh, hopefully you will learn something new. So, okay, about Arenal. Funny enough, my husband visited the town Arenal with his best friend about four and a half years ago. We just moved to Costa Rica. We were very busy in establishing our lives. Uh, we didn't uh, drove around a lot. You know, we planted our flag when we started to live here in the area Montezuma, Santa Teresa, but Dirk's best friend came over and they started to explore um, Costa Rica a little bit by car and he remembered Arenal as a very touristic town and uh, I think that he hiked here he said well it was beautiful we did a hike and that was it now I am here with one of my dearest friends that I met here in Costa Rica also Costa Rica expat and she has been visiting Arenal and she's living here for 14 years since her children were mega young and uh, she visited all the hot spring areas and um, the spas here, especially for a vet. She said, oh, haven't you visited the hot springs in Arenal? Come with us. Let's go on a mini vacation. So I'm here on a mini vacation with my friend Maggie and her daughter, Rosie. And I'm here with my son, Nick. And of course, I feel super grateful. I can plan this trip because I work fully online. A big chunk of my business is automated. That means I have created, well, what I do, I'm not gonna touch on that, but you can access what I do and how you can build a business yourself. So you can hopefully come to Costa Rica to live here or to travel here and um, start earning some profits. <laughs> Click the link below my video to learn how an online business like mine is set up and discover if it's something for you or not. I'll leave that up to you. The first link below every of my video leads to a mini course, okay? There's also a world of information um, down there, some book tips and other stuff. But okay, my experience now is wow, because one, I'm here with someone who knows the area really well. And today, so I still have my badge on, I, we are still um, in the day pass thing. Basically, we went to Baldi and Baldi is a hot spring, spa resort and it's beautiful it has like eight or nine warm baths and the warmth of the water it's like healing water it's you know the volcano which is <laughs> right now invisible it's in the clouds is responsible for the warm water springs here and um it's very nice to sit in all that warm water and uh, to shower after cold and just have the experience of relax and sitting and enjoying healing water. And there's many of these parks here. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely um, a worth visit if you ask me. And I definitely recommend Baldi Hot, Hot Spring Resort. Uh, you can buy a day pass. 
um, and um, you can also stay there, book a room and uh, just find out what you like and if you like it the way that I do. Well, we do and that's so cool about Baldi. You can go in uh, and you can book a lunch and or a dinner and um, it's very good. The food is amazingly well. Uh, so it is definitely a recommendation. That's why I'm sh making this video. Um, so check it out. It's worth it. And uh, also you can um, take a break like we are doing. We were there around 10, between 10 and 11. And it stays open until 10 at night. And my, my friend uh, shared with me, it's really nice because in the evening there's lots of lights, but it's very intensive to stay there from 10 to 10. It's like 12 days, uh, 12 hours. So we took a break. We went back to our hotel, our, um, yeah, and took like um, an awake siesta. So everyone is chilling in the room and just, you know, doing some relaxed stuff. Uh, and then later we're going to, because we had the, the, the lunch experience there, was amazing. And we are planning to have a bite here in town, go to a soda. I love the Costa Rica sodas. That's another tip. Um, the sodas in Costa Rica, there are so many. It's like family restaurants. It's the, the Tico places. Uh, I love them. You eat local food and um, it's not touristic oriented. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going back. So when it's dark, and as you probably know, and if not, then you learn it now. In Costa Rica, it gets dark early every day because we are close to the equator. So around six, it's bloody dark here but then the lights are on in Baldi and we're going back and we're going to have the evening experience so yeah that's my advice for today uh, but yesterday we did tubing so we have a lot of rivers here in this area and we did tubing and that's like this big um, floatable what is it I don't know how to call it it's a tube uh, you can sit in it hang on it and you float over the river and the river goes quite fast now it's rainy season as you can see on the sky uh, and the river is perfect it's not too high but it's also not too dry so yeah you're just going it's not rafting it's not as wild as rafting but it is kind of the experience and it's child friendly so if you are in the Arenal area come and check out a book a tubing tour it's fun uh, it's worth it and then uh, yeah you can uh, you can let me know what your thoughts are about tubing and you know there's lots of websites so if you just literally go to the web and just google aeronaut activities or tubing activities or uh, baldy hot springs this is how you write it oh i don't think you can read it baldy hot springs just check out the stuff and it's easy to book um, a day pass or an arrangement and what we did here uh, just if you're staying somewhere, ask the, the reception to make a booking for you. They are really overall very friendly here and happy to, to help make your reservations. And this is also what I love about the Arenal area. And my friend Maggie confirmed that the people are extremely friendly. The Ticos who work here, the, the services in the restaurants, the services in the shops, the people are mega, mega friendly. And are the Ticos not friendly overall? Well, yes, they are. Overall, that's also one of the things why I like Costa Rica so much. The Ticos are such a gentle, kind type of people. And uh, But I live in a different area. And in my area, I think it's less friendly. But... Don't pin me on it. Go and explore yourself. But yeah, the friendliness of the Arenal Ticos, I give them an 11, not a 10, but an 11. So I think it's a try triple worth it to come and visit. Uh, I think there's accommodations in all kinds of pricing levels, budget. Uh, there's not so, this is a thing I found out and, and now I understand why. There's not so many Airbnbs here in the area where all the big hot spring and all the activity centers are uh, because all the big hotels like the one that I'm staying in bought up everything and the Airbnbs are more further from the town, okay? From um, uh, La Fortuna and from um, Arenal. So they're more, yeah, further away. So that's the price that you pay finding perhaps a more budget 
more space, more cheaper Airbnb, but then you have to drive to all these places. And of course, gasoline also is a cost, it's an expense. So, you know, I would recommend you just to book in a place like this. You're very close to everything. Uh, it's easy to cruise to Arenal, to La Fortuna, back and forth, back and forth. It doesn't take you a lot of time. It doesn't take you a lot of gasoline. But that's my opinion. And it's all, always better to explore yourself. And that is basically the content of today. And um, yeah, um, sorry, I couldn't show you the volcano. It's right behind me. But I assure you, when it's visible, it gave me goosebumps. It's so powerful. It has this this authority status in this, it creates this area. It created the hot springs. It's an active volcano, guys. So uh, yeah, uh, this is one of the things I love about Costa Rica. It has so much to offer. It has um, about six or seven or eight active, or I'm not sure if they're all active, but it has active volcanoes and um, yeah beautiful biodiversity because of that so with that being said who knows i'm going to meet you one day in costa rica if not all good for me let me know in the comments if you found a value in this video and if you're interested in building a business online making money while you're traveling through costa rica i know it's all possible the question is uh, you know do you do you have you cracked the code on how to do it if not i'm happy to help you ask me questions reach out to me in the description down below you can also tap um learn more discover more then a, a lot of information pops up you can connect with me on tiktok on facebook on youtube here and with that being said i talked enough already see you on my next video bye for now